We enter the town of Monmouth by crossing the River Mono on the Mono Bridge, the last surviving medieval fortified bridge in Britain with a gatehouse on the bridge. The bridge originally had a portcullis and a battlement parapet. Located in the heart of the Wye Valley, Monmouth is very close to two rivers, the River Mono and the River Wye, a river which borders England and Wales. Across the river is the county of Gloucestershire, just a stone's throw. But as soon as you cross the Wye into Monmouth, you are in Wales. The dialect spoken changes and signs are duplicated in both the Welsh and English language. We slowly walk up Mono Street, historically the site of the town's market and today the main shopping street. Monmouth has a wonderful mixture of shops, both independent and national, serving the needs of everyone with a complement of grocers, butchers, fashion and many more. Look closely at the buildings and it is interesting to see the different types of architecture built over time. Many fine Georgian buildings still front the main streets. The town has been here a long time, dating back over 2,000 years when occupied by the Romans. As we reach the centre of the town, we pass the Shire Hall, built in 1774. More on this location later. First, we view Great Castle House, built in 1673 for the Marquess of Worcester. It is now the home to the Royal Monmouthshire Royal Engineers, with the military museum in an adjacent building. In this locality can be seen the ruins of Monmouth Castle, birthplace of King Henry V. During the Civil War, it was held by both the Royalists and the Roundheads. We cross the road to the Nelson Museum, only to find it has been closed. I have visited the museum many times to view the fantastic display about Nelson and his ships. Hopefully, it will open again one day. Back to the Shar Hall, we first can view a statue of Charles Rolls, famous for his partnership with Henry Royce. We go inside to view the old court. Not a pleasant place to be not so long ago. We continue our walk through the town, passing a popular busker before arriving at St Mary's Church. A Norman church once stood here, the present one built in the late 19th century. By now, we are feeling hungry, so walked into a nearby courtyard to eat at the Whole Earth Cafe Bistro. We both chose Thai meals, an excellent choice, 
followed by freshly baked chocolate sponge cake. It simply melted in my mouth. In the street alongside the Shire Hall is a bee shop. Did you know that Monmouth is officially named as the UK's first bee town? Well worth a look at is Monmouth School, founded by William Jones in 1614. As we come to the end of our time in Monmouth, we pass a distinguished looking house. This is Drybridge House, built in 1671 and restored in 1867. Leaving Monmouth the way we came, why not drive a few miles to Tintern, a lovely village alongside the River Wye with a fabulous ruined abbey to visit. Yes, that's England across the water, with the green fields of the county of Gloucestershire. If you have enjoyed this film, please hit the like button below and please subscribe to my channel. Arriving at the 12th century Tintern Abbey, we paused to take in the splendour of this ancient building. It fell into ruin in the 16th century, following the dissolution of monasteries. It is so peaceful here, especially stood on the bank of the River Wye, with not a sound to be heard.